going on, fellow junkies? Horror Junkies 509, Cop 13th, coming at you again today, you guys. And honestly, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I am being quite lazy today. I have been doing a lot of overtime at work lately, and so I haven't had the time to come to you guys and do a video. I haven't had time to do dishes. I haven't had time to work in my basement. It's been a little bit rough lately because uh, my work's needing me there more than normal, but... Hopefully something about that's going to change real soon and I can get back to my normal filming schedule. I am behind currently, you guys. Uh, but trust me, this is not going to stay like that uh, for long, you guys. I definitely want to get back to a normal schedule and uh, keep pumping out content for you guys because I love doing it just as much as we like watching it. Yeah, I watch my own videos. It is what it is. Uh, so like I just said, I'm going to be doing something kind of lazy today, but it is going to kind of lead into other videos that uh, hopefully I'll be able to gain some excitement for you guys. I will be going ahead and doing uh, three unboxings today, you guys. I have not done an unboxing in quite a while, so I'm kind of excited to do this because unboxings are fun. I watch them myself on uh, for other channels, and uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with a good box. You know, you just never know what's going to be in there, man. Uh, so, I hope you guys are doing well out there. Like I said, I'm exhausted and being pretty lazy. I'm supposed to cook dinner tonight. Not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll figure that out, I guess, because Angelina's at work. And uh, like always, you guys you know, I got other videos coming up. I got figures that I need to do. I got masks that are still coming. Everything is coming, you guys. It's just I'm trying to pump it out as best I can, you guys, because I like to have my energy when I do my videos. I don't want to be like... Well, this action figure is really great. Uh, it's just not my style, you guys. You know, I like to keep it up. I like to keep it uh, nice and ready to rock and roll, you guys, because I like my channel's kind of high energy as best as I can for whatever, you guys. But uh, you know what? I'm just jawing on you guys, but I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, like I said, I haven't had time for much. My basement's still at a standstill, kind of, because I'm working all the time. Uh, but that ain't your guys' problem. You guys came here for a video, and that's just what we'll do. Uh, so, doing unboxings, you guys. Oh, man, Angelina's not going to like this. Uh, but I got to bring out the star of uh, my unboxings. And hello to my old subscribers. You guys know exactly who I'm talking to. And my new subscribers, what's going on, you guys? You're about to meet someone that is... Uh, she's a reoccurring person in, this, in these channels. And her name... Okay, I didn't ruin anything, I don't think. Her name is Sheila. Yes, uh... This is my sweet knife that I always do all my unboxings with, and I do not hurt myself with her, which is just great. I've been watching a lot of Forged and Fire recently, and so I've been dying to get to use my knives. So, I don't know if you guys watch the show Forged and Fire. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, you guys. So, first one is uh, from Vinegar Syndrome, you guys. I have been buying a few Vinegar Syndrome titles. Like You will see this one again when I do my Blu-ray DVD update, um, but definitely wanted to do kind of an unboxing. Let's just see here. Let's just go ahead and cut the Vinegar Syndrome tape, even though I love the Vinegar Syndrome tape. Oh, yeah. Sheila's still good to go. And as you can see, the little Vinegar Syndrome tape without showing off my uh, address. Let's do that. Whole number. Yeah, I like it when they do stuff like that. And let's see what we got here, guys. So when it comes to like me ordering from Vinegar Syndrome, my main objective is to try and grab anything that's like slasher-esque. And, you know, I buy a lot of movies that end up not being slashers at all. Uh, but if you guys know some uh, titles from Vinegar Syndrome that are slashers, whether you think I got them or not, put them down in the comments because I'd love to check them out. I don't really care if they're good. It doesn't matter. Sorry, I have, I have bubble wrap. It's <laughs> I enjoy it. Uh, so, the title I got this time, because I was kind of referred to it, was The Slasher, and that's uh, Party Line. Um, you know, I heard it wasn't great or anything like that, but, you know, I heard it's, like, Slasher-esque, and so I went ahead and bought Party Line. I almost said Slasher Line. That would have been fun. And then here's the uh, alternate cover. <laughs> There's a lady. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't know. It looks like it could be a good time. If you guys know anything about this movie, let me know. And so, that was the first box, you guys. <laughs> And so, like I said, you'll see that one on my upcoming uh, DVD Blu-ray update. And so, this is here's another b box. This is the the biggest one out of the three, you guys. So, up. Oh, I hope you. Woo. I uh, hope you guys. Uh, I just lost my train of thought, but that's all right. Hopefully, you guys will check it out and see what's going on. I think I do know what this one is as well. <clears throat> Always got to be worried about where the address is at on here, huh? Hmm, 
Interesting. I just put that right on the side there. And... All right, you guys, and there's a little bit of story behind why I bought this one. See, we got some good packing. They did a really good job. This is from Walmart, by the way. So in this box, I did go ahead and uh, buy the Silent Night, Deadly Night, uh, Billy action figure. And I know you're going to be like, Kyle, but you have that already. And you're not wrong. I do have this one that came with the Scream Factory Edition. Um, I do not want to open this one, basically. I love the box of it. And uh, I just, I just want to keep it in this box. And since this one was released, I figured, why not? Um, for the most part, I mean, they look exactly the same. So I figure, what the hey, I'm going to open this one, and you guys will see a video on this one uh, coming up pretty soon. Uh, but this one's going to stay sealed just because I like the box. I like it a lot. I was kind of hoping they would do this with uh, Part 2 Ricky as well, but uh, I don't see that happening. I really want them to do this with the Angela from um, uh, Night of the Demons. I did not get that figure, and I would love to get a chance at it again. And uh, yeah, so... Definitely had to get Billy. Go ahead and check him out. I think, I don't know if that one comes with the hammer or not, but uh, I could be wrong. Uh, there's the back of it. And I just love Silent Night, Deadly Night. I always display um, those boxes out in my display on Christmas time, but now I'll be able to display one of the figures from the most important part of the franchise, part one, I think. All right, you guys, we got one more. And this is the reason I had to do an unboxing video, you guys, because this is the reason I thought of doing this video. And I can't wait for this one. I can't wait to do this video for this one. Always. Okay, you guys. So we're going to need Sheila for a third time, you guys. Let's go ahead and see what we got. As you can see, I've been kind of buying stuff a lot lately. I've been I've been bad. Angelina's going to ground me. I just know it. I've been... I really need to slow down my spending a little bit. Especially since, uh, you know, got to pay that mortgage. You know, got to take care of business. All right, you guys, so there's no hiding it. Uh, this is from Shout Factory, and I love this paper. I always like to keep it. Angelina actually wrapped one of my Christmas presents in it uh, a couple years ago. And this is the brand new My Bloody Valentine Harry Warden action for you guys. And I know I don't want to open it, but I feel like I have to, you know. I do not have another Harry Warden action figure. I might try and get another one. Uh, we'll see, but like I said, Angeline's probably going to ground me for how much money I've been spending lately. Uh, but just checking it out, got the side of the box, you guys. The back of the box, we get to see some action shots of the figure, you guys. I have been wanting this figure for so long, you guys, and I'm so happy that it's here. And um, I can't wait for Valentine's Day because me and Angelina always do the same thing. We'll get our whatever dinner we're going to do, and we watch My Bloody Valentine. Angelina recently bought me the remake, uh, so we might check that one out as well. And I also have Valentine. So we have all the Valentine horror movies, you guys. And now I have a Harry Warden action figure, you guys. And this looks awesome. It, it is the old style Mego um, look. And it's come with, with the heart, uh, the candy with the heart in it. And then the pickaxe. And it looks like he's got a knife in there. And just his whole suit. I know the glare is going to kill me, you guys. But this looks awesome. I love the mask. They really nailed it. They got the blood on there. I really hope that this sometime will get an ultimate version as well. Or maybe another re-release like this. Kind of like the Billy one. I would take this so I could actually open one. I, do, I think I'm still going to open this. But I'm really not going to want to. But I think I have to have a representation up here with my other figures, you guys. Uh, so this was the main event, you guys. This was the one I was most excited about. I cannot wait for Angelina to go home from work and I can show her this because she was just Harry Warden for Halloween because uh, that's my that's my girl right there. You know, she just supports me and all the horror stuff because she likes horror too. Uh, but I hope you guys are getting a good look at this and I hope if you guys weren't uh, on the fence about buying this, I recommend it, you guys, because this thing looks awesome. I really do want another chance at getting one. I just can't do it <coughs> right now, you guys. So... That is the main event, you guys. We do got Harry Warden. We got Billy. And where'd it go? And we got Party Line, you guys. That's the unboxing for me, you guys. I hope you guys dug this video. 
I'm sorry that uh, I've been kind of getting worked to, work to death right now just because I can't do a, a normal video I would normally do. Uh, but I promise you guys, I do have uh, Saturday and Sunday off and I'll try and get something more legit done. Um, but Saturday, Sundays, those are Angelina days. So she's home and I will be there with her. So if I can get something done, I will. Uh, so that's going to do it for me. Horde Junkies 509 signing out just until next time, you guys. And you already know it. I have been sentenced to life. I am a whore lifer. And you guys have a killer day. And uh, I will be opening up some other action figures, you guys. Um, I, I got some more masks to do. And I figure I'll show these guys off real quick. I did recently finally get the Terror Tunes Leatherface. Uh, the one I've been wanting the most. Uh, Victor Crowley. I cannot wait for his other action figure. And, of course, Sam from Trick or Treat, you guys. Uh, so some other stuff I can show off. I do have a lot of the other guys that are over here on the wall. Uh, but, yeah, you guys, lots of stuff going on, but just not a lot of time to get it shown to you guys. So I hope you guys will stick with me anyway, and I always try to pump out something, you guys, uh, whether it's got to be just a simple video like this or whatever it is. Uh, so I hope you guys will like, comment, subscribe, share this video or share any of my other videos, you guys show them to your friends, see if they think I'm cool or they like my content. You guys, uh, I've been got a lot of great comments, you guys. And I always love when you guys drop me comments. I always reply back to everybody. Um, except for when I get the comments that, um, it says I have a comment, but I go and try and look at it and then it's not there because it broke a comment rule or whatever. I'd reply to you guys if I could. Otherwise, uh, it is what it is, you guys. So I hope you guys have a killer day. And stay bloody, my friends. Don't fret, you guys. I will be back. Always.